Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce. My friends call me Fluff and today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we are going to check out the Heavy Menace from Empress FX. Now I have said this before and I will say it again in this video, the tones that you can get in a petal based circuit have never been better for high gain players and the amount of bells and whistles that are coming out these days is just truly incredible. I wish I had pedals like this heavy menace when I was a younger person, cause I'm old now. And today we are going to check out the heavy menace from Empress FX. And before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video. Empress FX has sent me the Heavy Menace to show you guys, however, all thoughts and opinions are still mine. Now, building upon the foundation of the original Heavy pedal, also from Empress FX, we get the Heavy Menace. Now, this is a much smaller form factor than the original Heavy pedal, and you will have your classic uh, tone controls, low, mid, high. You also have the much loved weight control, which was also on the original heavy. You have gain and output. You have a gate, which people also loved in the original heavy. However, now it's on its own individual foot switch. And we also have a mid frequency tweak and we have three individual channels. I wouldn't say, uh, you know, one is called uh, light-ish, heavy, and then heavier. Light-ish is like ACDC rock and roll, you know, 80s kind of a thing. And it just gets heavier, more gained out from there. And you also have a gate key input, so you can use an external source to control and trigger the noise gate. Lots of features in this thing. Let's hear this in the context of a mix. All right, now that we got the mix out of the way, I'm going to keep this hooked up to the uh, effects return of my Bogner Shiva 20th anniversary. And I'm going to switch guitars. I'm going to use my Ernie Ball Music Man Saber, something a little bit more vintagey in flavor. And uh, yeah, we're gonna twist the knobs. We're gonna hang out a little bit. And we're gonna talk about the tones that we are getting with the Empress Heavy Menace. Let's do it. All right, so I have my completely stock Music Man Saber with very passive kind of vintage sounding pickups. I thought this would be a, you know, good alternative to the, you know, the crazy output Fishmans that I used in the demo tune. I have the Heavy Menace here on my desk and I'm still going into the return of the loop on my Bogner Shiva. I'm doing this because it's just very, very clean and it's a good example of the kind of power amp that you kind of want to have this going through. So here is the, the, the pedal off. This is my DI guitar tone into the power amp. Heavy Menace, we are going to start with the, the, the light-ish setting and work our way up. Light-ish, we have heavy, and then we have heavier, right? Three channels. <laughs> Crazy amounts of gain. Light-ish, here we go. A rock and roll tone here. Now, of course, we got our low, mid, and high controls, but we also have this, this control called weight. Now, the weight's gonna add low end emphasis, and this is really dependent on the material that you're gonna be playing with the Heavy Menace. Now, this guitar doesn't have a lot of low end. It's very pathy, very vintage -y sounding, so in this scenario, I would add some weight to the tone. Let's do that. <laughs> Bye. 
Isn't that nice? I haven't added any low end per se. I didn't, uh, you know, change the low on the control, the mid or the high. However, let's roll this back off now and you'll hear how, how not, how, how thin this is. <laughs> This is the kind of tone I would use to do overdubs on a record or something like that. Something that I want to cut, but still have body, but not too much low end. The weight knob is really the kind of hidden feature of the Heavy Menace. This is really cool. <laughs> Now you'll also notice that I have the mid-range control kind of up a little bit and I have the frequency up a little bit as well. Let's play with the frequency knob and just kind of sweep around a little bit. It's gonna go from scooped to very not scooped. <laughs> I find with the Heavy Menace, this kind of gain structure, I like the upper mids to get boosted a little bit. It just sounds more musical to me for my particular guitars. It sounds real nice. Now let's switch to the heavy channel. We're gonna, we're gonna up the gain factor a little bit. More noise, you hear the noise? I don't want that noise. I'm gonna go ahead and engage the gate. Dead silent. Hear that? Love it. Now notice, I'm kind of doing like a markish thing with this pedal. I have the weight up, but I have the low end down. I don't want it, I don't want my guitar tone to be too flubby, but I like some, some body, right? So if I went the other way and I turned the weight down and the bass up, you're gonna get a different effect. <laughs> You can hear how it has more of an upper low thing going on. Whereas if I turn the lows down and crank the weight up, there's just, just more girth to it. I will typically turn this down the more gain I get. So with that, we're gonna go to the heavier channel. More gain, we want more. Notice there's still no noise. Now let's go ahead and turn off that gate. <laughs> need that. I'm also going to turn down, I'm going to turn down the weight now. I'm going to leave that about nine o'clock. So much saturation, it just sings. What a great pedal. So what do I think? I mean, this thing is 250 bucks and it's an independent gate. You don't have to use the gain circuit on this thing at all. If you wanna use this as just a gate, you can do that. I love that about this pedal. It lets me gate what I wanna gate. Also, you know, this thing can be true bypass or buffered bypass depending on the cable run that you are using with it. It's much, much more compact than the original Heavy. I don't know, man. The gate is really, really impressive in this pedal, especially for something, again, as small and as compact as it is. Awesome. I love the fact that it doesn't get super, um, 
you know, that has that really fizziness, you know, a lot of really gained out distortion and preamp pedals kind of fall apart in the upper, upper mids and top and treble frequencies when you really start getting gained out. Not so with Heavy Menace. I really enjoy the musicality of this pedal while also letting me get as heavy as I want. And that's it for me. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more about all things Empress FX. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.